Hi, I'm I go by Sai, and I'm gonna explain a streaming video for you guys today. Um, I know this is a big topic of discussion because one of the biggest problems right now is that we're all hunkered down in our spaces right now. And what a lot of people are asking us is, you know, hey, yo, figure out a mobile setup so I can see your face and we can do this teleconference thing and we can have some good results. And the crappy thing is when you don't have the best webcam on your computer and you're doing this and it looks like you're filming out a dang potato and you want it to look better. But you're like, well, I don't know exactly how to do that. This is how you do it. I'm using the iPhone 11 right now, and what I'm doing is I'm going through a USB cord all the way up into the iPhone. And then what that's doing is that's giving me a direct feed through this app called Epoch Cam. Epoch Cam, um, you can get a free version. I got the paid version because I wanted uh, the HD and some additional features that comes with that. Um, I think the f additional features are green screen if you want to use it. You also get multiple different types of resolutions and then it actually pulls out to a full 16 by 9 ratio. And 16 by 9 again means a full screen ratio that you normally see on like a cell phone or a regular uh, desktop. If you get the free version you get more of a square and it's more of a standard uh, type of uh, version and then you kind of have to like pull it out or stretch it out to make it fit the screen. So that's one thing to think about. But it's only eight dollars so well and, and these times i can't really just say that because we're all under a lot of stress but if you can afford to get the uh, the app for eight dollars i would say get that if you can so what i'm doing from there is i'm also using this mixer this uh, zoom f4 now audio interface is just a fancy word for um, audio is coming from that device and going into the laptop so that you can get good audio from a microphone because what happens is the XLR is coming from the F4 or the wire that goes straight to the microphone and that's where I'm getting all my audio right now. So what I got set up here is I got this NTG3. Um, you don't need this. If you wanna keep your setup cheap, you can go with a small Rode Micro and then you can wire that straight into your camera um, your iPhone and get like a little dongle for it or an Android whatever you want to do now The only problem is if you do that with this app, you're gonna have to pull out the uh, USB from this uh, cell phone and then you're gonna have to put a dongle in for the microphone Then you're gonna be forced to use the Wi-Fi feature for the camera Which isn't terrible because you got to remember that um, you are going to be just recording on like QuickTime, but it can cause problems if your internet's not really great. So that's one thing to think about. If you have an audio interface, you don't have to worry about that at all. And right now, I'm not worrying about that at all because that audio interface is taking care of all the sound, okay? So the other thing is um, the the next steps from this, if, if you ain't got lights, what I would just say, just get close to um, like set up a lamp or like, you know, have a very broad, bright source. But what I've done here is that I have these quasars right here on the dimmers. So I can just like brighten them up and, and take them down. And I also have a quasar directly behind the camera. Right now, that's what you see from my perspective. You got um, the cell phone and you got a quasar directly behind it. And then from here too, um, these two quasars are right here. Okay. And then my screen set up right in front of me. And then the, on, the only thing that I have in here that's not completely necessary is this backlight here. This is the Godox. Um, if you want, you can try to put a Godox in the front um, with a softbox if you prefer and if, instead of using the Quasars. But what I found is that in most cases, a lot of people have tight spaces that they work with. The Quasars work the best. And the Quasars give you a good soft uh, light, but um, they're not too harsh. The, the soft box is gonna be softer, so if you really, really care about that, do that, but you gotta remember, if you're up against a wall, you're not gonna be able to get that positioning. Uh, let me grab one other thing. This is, this is very small. Well, before this video, apparently this died on me. I might have to charge it back up, but these are the Q uh, Lions, or the Q Lithium Ion bat Battery Quasars, and they have magnetic backing, so let's say you have like a metal thing across your uh, from your your laptop. I mean you could use that to light it So if you really just wanted to get something simple not buy a bunch of stands 
This has magnets on the back. It just will stick up anywhere you need it to go. So like I could go like that. It It is literally stuck up there. And I'll show you guys. So right now it is hooked up there and that's holding only by magnets. I just go boop, magnets. It's a miracle. Magnets, how do they work? I wanted to clear up before I finished this video was the rigging. So what I did here is, which is kind of jank, but um, what I ended up doing was using a gobo here, okay? And that's where my cell phone would be. And what you're doing is you're setting everything on the right side. So if you can see, I'm tightening this. If it falls, it goes. If it goes forward, it tightens more. So just remember that about grip 101. It's just like a kind of simple thing. But once you get into actually buying this stuff, you'll need to remember that so you don't have things fall on you. Um, down here, what I ended up doing to keep this all onto the table is that I clamped a mathalini onto the table and then I put the gobo right there and then that goes up here and I put another gobo head here with another mathalini and that mathalini clamps the cell phone right in. You just twist this knob and then it goes up and then it uh, clamps down. These are incredibly useful. You can use them for a lot of different applications and it gives you a lot of space because otherwise you're going to have to get a C-stand. And a C-stand can run you about $150. A Mathalini will run you about $50. Um, and then the Gobo will maybe run you another $50. So you, for, if you wanted to save space, you might want to use a Gobo instead of a C-stand because the C-stand takes up a lot more space. Oh, there's my yellow submarine uh, sculpture. Um, we'll, we'll go back to that sometime. Anyways, um, yeah, so then here's the Gobo and then um, what I have set up on this is that the, the additional rigging that you need for like these um, these quasars is you need extension cords, you need to have um, the extension cords with multi-plugs so you can plug into that. And then what you also got going down on here is you need um, one of these plates that hold your quasars in place. Um, you can DIY this with normal like fluorescent bulb holdings from like an Ace Hardware. Um, or you can just buy um, the cheaper version of these clamps, that, which is close to $75. I'll put a link down below. Um, but that's basically it for the Quasars. And don't forget the dimmers. The dimmers are like $15. Uh, they're pretty cheap. They're, they'll be on Amazon. Um, but other than that, if you want to keep it even cheaper than this stuff, um, you can just use your lamp and put it in a corner and get a replacement bulb and I'll, I'll show you a link to that too because the replacement bulbs you can get on for Quasar and they're nicer quality than um, your typical household bulb that you would put in your lamp. So an additional point I need to mention out is that right now for whatever reason, I noticed this on YouTube which was kind of bonkers, I wasn't getting the camera to work and I was like why is it not working? and I was using the Zoom application. I use the, the most up-to-date version of Zoom, but the problem was that the app was not compatible with the most up-to-date version of Zoom. So I'll put down below um, the version that you need now in order to use this app. If you don't use the, um, the previous download for Zoom, it won't work. So also what you're gonna to have to do is if you have the most up-to-date version of Zoom, you're gonna to have to uninstall that and then reinstall this version so you can get it to work. Um, maybe it will be updated in the future, but I have no idea. Um, so that's kind of just the last thing I needed to bring up um, so that you guys can have this work smoothly. All right, so now we're in Zoom. Um, see how it's telling me there's an update that's needed? Um, so don't do that um, because you don't want an update. I believe my version will be 4.67 okay so that's what you need to use to do this so let's say new meeting okay move this here okie dokie right now it's on my FaceTime which I don't want I want the Epoch cam There you go, see there's the cam. And then what I have to do is I'm gonna 
tilt this and turn it towards me. Okay, audio's there. Okay. And so this is the one thing I would recommend because I don't have this set up right now is that although I did put the phone here, it's not always the best if you're doing a conference when you're talking to somebody. So if you want it to be more accurate with your eye, eye line, you can put it here. Or the thing is, if you're doing like, let's say I'm doing um, like what I'm doing right now is I'm moving around this thing and I'm talking about the screen. Occasionally I can break the fourth wall and look towards you and then say, say some things directly and then move back to here again and continue the tutorial. So again, you gotta make sure your Epoch cam is on that. So let's go here. Right now I'm using the Mac, uh, I mean the HFNS series. So I'm, I'm using the recording on that. And that's how you can use this. Um, you can always set up whatever other microphones you want and then your speakers through here um, that, that can be set up or if you have earbuds or whatever you're trying to do. Um, I recommend if you're trying to record something and you have other people on the line that you don't want to um, have your speakers going through because you're having the audio here, you might want to put earbuds in so that that audio doesn't leak through because that audio leaking through is not going to look so great or hear sound that great. So just another tip when you're setting this app up. If anything hangs up, if things aren't working, you know, just hit me up down below in the comment section. Um, if this video worked out really well for you, just hit the like button and then also subscribe for more video content that I'm going to be bringing out as uh, the year progresses. So see you later guys.